Today we are going to be making a sesame seed hard candy. Recently I was in Mexico on a bus tour and they handed this little treat out and it was so yummy that I knew I had to find a recipe to duplicate it. I am the Crafty Vlog Stalker and if you're new to my videos, make sure to subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming tutorials. The ingredients for our hard candy is three quarters cup sugar, a fourth of a cup of honey, pinch of salt, one tablespoon of water, one cup raw sesame seeds, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, two teaspoons of unsalted butter, and a half a teaspoon of baking soda. We are going to be heating our candy on a stove top. I've got a single burner here for the purposes of this video, but you can just do this in your kitchen on your stove at home. We're also going to use a candy thermometer because we want to make sure that it is heated to the right temperature to make sure that the candy is nice and hard. We want to cook at a medium low temperature because if it cooks too quickly, then it will burn. So we're going to add the sugar, uh, we'll do water, pinch of salt, and our honey. And with any candy recipe, you want to make sure that you are stirring the, the mixture constantly because it will burn really easily. So we are just going to start stirring and we aren't going to stop until it is done. As it heats, the mixture is going to become more like liquid. And now we are looking for uh, some little bubbles to start appearing. All right, we're starting to get those bubbles. So we can add our sesame seeds. And again, we're just gonna keep stirring. And this part is probably going to take about five minutes, but we want to keep stirring until the mixture reaches 300 degrees. And we will test that with our candy thermometer once we get closer to that five minute mark. All right, we're gonna go ahead and insert the thermometer. Now we wanna still keep uh, stirring and we don't want the thermometer to be touching the base of the pan. We want it to be taking the temperature of the mixture that we're stirring. So I'm gonna hold it so it doesn't rest on the bottom of the pan. And we're gonna see if we are close to 300 temperatures yet. 300 temperatures, 300 degrees yet. All right, we're not quite there yet, so I'm gonna set that aside for a minute and I'll try again in another minute or so. All right, we're gonna test it again. All right. We are there and you can see how the cooking has also kind of browned those sesame seeds as well. So we're gonna take it off the heat and this is now where we need to move really pretty quickly. I'm gonna add the baking soda, the butter, and the vanilla. We're gonna stir that up. It's gonna kind of fizz up a little bit. Mmm, it smells so good. Stir that up really nice. And as it cools, it's going to harden. So that's why we want to move quickly. So I'm gonna grab my trays, got my spoon, and I'm just gonna drop some into my tray here. Doesn't have to be perfect. I should have put some 
um, cooking spray on my spoon and that would have helped it slide off a little bit better. But I forgot. So I'm gonna do this other tray quickly. Like I said, they don't have to be perfect. And you could also just spread this out and um, break it because it's very similar to brittle. In fact, that's probably what I'm going to do with what doesn't fit in the tray since you have to deal with it so quickly. Now that we have officially made a mess, <laughs> we are going to let it cool for probably about 15 to 20 minutes. To wash our dishes, the best way I have found to do it is to just fill them up with really, really hot water and then just let them soak until that sugar dissolves. It has been about 20 minutes, so I'm gonna come back here to my candy and we are going to break it apart and put it in a container. So here is, normally with this, you can just tap it like with the butt of a knife, but it is pretty thick. So I brought my handy dandy meat pounder and we're gonna break it apart that way. And you just want it to be in little bite-sized pieces. And then you want to store it in a airtight container. So like a little Rubbermaid like I've got here. Although honestly, it won't last that long in this house. That piece is still a little big, so I'm gonna smack that one more time. Now for these that are in the mold, I can just pop them right out. So I'm just gonna hold it upside down and just push them out. And they come out and they actually look much nicer, I think, than the ones that we had to break apart. They are finally done. Mmm, they smell really good. They actually kind of smell like sesame oil. Uh, for some weird reason, since they're made with sesame seeds. Uh, but these are so yummy. So let's go ahead and try one. I'm just gonna do a small one so I'm not crunching for the rest of the video. Mm. They're so good. They're the perfect consistency. They're hard candy, but you, they're crunchy. You can still crunch on them. And they have a really, really good kind of a nutty flavor. Oh, so yummy. You definitely need to try this recipe.